Florida Rick at the Paranormal Ghost Society. We've almost made it down the mountain of Potosi. We see the car. It's just over a canyon. There's a road. Got a few hundred feet to go. We have literally slid from the top of one of the peaks. They're relatively high, 6,000 feet. And you, you know, you're going a couple thousand feet. But we have had to sled down sides of um, ridges where the rocks come up. And we are on the hiking trail that we originally took to get to the mine. Um, it's pretty narrow. It's not that great, but you can see it meandering down to the road or the wash up here. It's very, this film is dark, but you know, we'll put it on YouTube because we want you guys to know what's going on. Um, it's probably about 9 p.m. at night. Well lit. I could actually turn off my flashlight. You can't really see the snow. I'm facing down as snow, but we got a tree here. Um, actually, I, it's very cold out here. You know, there's about two inches of snow. Um, I actually found the trail. It does weave in and out over here. So I'm really happy, but it's very steep. And, of course, Mount Potosi. Oh, I almost fell. Mount, Mount Potosi is um, very steep. It's, you know, you're looking at a lot of large mountains in Nevada surround Las Vegas. It's one of the larger ones. Uh, TWA actually crashed on here. Um, I forgot who it killed. Honestly, I hit my head. I think I suffered from a concussion. I'm turning on my light again. But you can see, I mean, if I had, if I had programs to, like, edit this, which I do, but for some reason they don't work with this type of format, I, you, you, what you would be seeing right now is we're on, or there's a road below us, it's maybe an old mining road or ox cart road, and we're giant valley, there's a house out in the distance, it's just it's like an A-frame, we see the lights on in the house, we see the car parked at some rocks, and of course, you know, we're still not out of the woods yet. I mean, there's some steep falls. Anybody could fall, crack a tailbone, you know, and you I can, you can't walk for like six weeks, you know. But um, we've been going down. We've been sl actually sliding, using our backs and our buttocks to sled. And um, this appears to be the trail. And I'm actually walking with, I almost fell, but I'm walking on foot now, regular. This is the trail right here. And um, we'll be taking the trail down. I see a road right down there. Um, I see actually a Y, a split off. And there's the triangle. Believe it or not, there's a triangle here. And I can see the Y where it splits off. And this is where I went wrong because this is the trail and it switches back, back and forth to get down there. Or we got about maybe 200 feet to go. We could slide or we could just take this trail and let it meander itself out. Um, we've just completed the Potosi mine. I heard a few things, I don't know. Um, some areas were cold, could be because of the shafts upward, but amazing mine. Got a lot of photos, took a lot of EVPs, you know, as common Ghostbuster type of investigation with a little bit of urban exploration. Um, Tammy's behind me, we're just taking it slow, no rush. But um, it, it looks like a, I mean, it looks like a Christmas wonderland out here, you know. And the snow, it doesn't look like it's covering the canyon down there. But if it is, we will actually have to drive in this and try not to get stuck. It will be a little bit less snow down there than there would be up here, anyways. Um, but we came from almost 7,000 feet, and um, right there is the road or a road. But we're on a pretty good trail. And it looks like it goes right down into the wash. So, um, um, this is the Lord Rick of the Paranormal Ghost Society. We're pretty exhausted. We've been here all day since this morning. Um, I just want to say I love Tammy very much, and she helped me with this, and I've been helping her, and we've we've helped get each other through this. You know, I and mean, it's been. I mean, you take a few wrong turns, it gets dark. You come out of the mine, there's blizzard or it's snowing. It's not snowing anymore, but. The forest is well blanketed, and I can feel some flakes hitting me here and there, but uh, we're definitely at a much lower elevation, and I'm very happy because I know that we'll be back at the car. We'll be nice and toasty and warm, and I can come back and bring fans and, and members to unite together and tell them that we pulled it off, we climbed Potosi, and we did the mines. 
and of course this trip was very expensive we had to buy all new lights and and things that would help us because they said miles of tunnels in granite there there may be a mile or two of tunnels if you were to consider going up to the upper levels or lower levels um, or other holes that we found along the way that were kind of smaller but um, we're on a trail. It's you know it's meandering. It's supposed to work its way down. It'll switch back a little bit right here. It'll cut down and it'll cut to the left, then the right, then the left. So it's not as steep. Um, there are animal tracks right here. Looks like a rabbit. You guys probably can't see it. That's the back legs. There we go. Put a little lighting on it. So there ha there are some, there is wildlife. There's a lot of green, a lot of foliage. The canyon where the mine is, everything's dead. I don't know if it's because they were contaminating it with so many minerals, the ground, the rocks, the, you know, mining carts. But uh, anyways, we have a spot in exploration. This is what it's about. Um, we'll be pretty happy to get inside, get warm, cook up some pizzas. But anyways, we did it. And this is Lord Rick of the Paranormal Ghost Society. I, I will check my head for a wound. I, as soon as I hit it, I felt... It felt like a blood, a drop of blood rolled down to the left and the right, but it could have been pain radi 